been within the Cobalt Challenge team for almost 14 years. And we came to the Gorge as an area of outstanding natural beauty, but with an industrial heritage that in somewhere where things have been made and created. And we've really sort of tapped into that uh, creative spirit that somehow seems to run through the Gorge. Most of our designs really are inspired by nature. Many of the techniques that we use in making glass uh, have changed little for thousands of years. Uh, our tools are very simple, they're very low tech. Uh, we use a little technology to create and maintain really good quality clear glass. But over and above that, the techniques that we use have really changed hardly at all. So we have our hot molten glass and to that we're adding many layers of colour and texture in powdered forms and glass chips and canes and stringers and gold leaf and silver leaf. And so we're building up layers within our designs and it's those layers that become colours and textures. Um, and it's that play of texture and light and colour that really um, underlines what we do. The pieces that we've decided to make um, for the Made in the Gorge collection for the museum are inspired by nature, as one might expect. Uh, it's called Wilderness, and it's a fabulous jade green colour that we've created. Uh, and there'll be an exclusive range of three shapes that we produce. And what we've got is a combination of powders and chips of glass colour and uh, a luscious quantity of 23.5 karat gold leaf. And uh, an Italian technique of combining millefleur in the surface of the glass, and little marinis that are incorporated in the hot glass along with gold leaf and multiple colours of canes and powders and chips. Here we've got a small amphora vase and you can perhaps see a little bit more clearly the drifts of colour. And This colour has been applied hot in the studio, um, layer upon layer and texture upon texture. So we can see gold leaf and the millefleur or the marini and the powders and the chips. And the, the, the skills that are required both in the hot shop as we call it where we actually make the hot glass. But um, running through our, our entire collection of glassware are another set of skills of carving and engraving, where we're actually creating recognizable imagery. And here we can see um, some small floral imagery that's been captured within a layer of sterling silver leaf and trapped under a layer of, of, of molten glass using a, pr a process or a technique um, uh, developed around the turn of the last century called grass, so it's a Swedish technique. And it really just means to encapsulate uh, or cover the decoration uh, within uh, clear glass, so it's kind of a moment frozen in time. And they have a very intricate surface quality and they're very three-dimensional. And again, this is a design that's been inspired by uh, the collections of the Coldport China Museum.